Hey y'all, I'm Ashley and this is Ashley's Closet. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, glad to have you. So today's video is impromptu. I got two orders that I placed over the weekend for um, my birthday. And so I ordered, it's basically a Chanel haul, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, some of it came from Dillard's and then some of it came directly from Chanel. I have not looked in the box, I just um, cut the tape open and so I wanted to do the unboxing with you. So that is what I'm going to do. So my packing slip. I tell you what, I'm gonna move the box to the side and then I'll just kind of dig, dig through. How about that? Oh my God. Okay. So we have a box, white box that says Dillard's. Please excuse my hair, it's kind of damp. It was back in a, in a low bun all day and I just took it down. Okay, so this is what was in the box. It's wrapped up. And here we go. And this is the Chanel number no. five um, shower gel. It's just the plain number no. five. And I will go ahead and take the sleeve, take it out of the sleeve. I know some people are particular about the way they open, but I'm not. Here's the box. You can see it a little better with the double C logo. see that it's kind of pearly in color let's see I don't really know how it how it opened oh okay so for anybody wondering you twist and it slides open like that Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna move right along because I don't want this to be super long. Looks like they wrapped everything individually. I don't think I requested any sort of gift wrap of any sort. All right. And this is the Gabrielle Chanel. Um, I've already got the bottle of it. Oh, Jacob, will you go into my closet and get the bottle of this and the body lotion next to my sink? The perfumes with the rest of my perfume. <clears throat> I got it um, a week or two ago. I just didn't do a video on it. Um, but this is just the, the original Gabrielle Chanel. I think more people like the Gabrielle Chanel Essence, but um, the main difference to me between those two was it was really, really heavy on the tuberose. It was just really the forefront. And I generally like tuberose, but the dry down on the essence on me just wasn't pleasant um, to my sniffer. And so I went back and exchanged it for the Gabrielle. I sprayed one on one wrist, one on the other, and then gave it 30 minutes or so for the dry down. And I actually liked the original um, better. I, Chanel perfume had never really been on my radar before until a couple of years ago. Thank you. A couple of years ago, I started watching <clears throat> Louis Vuitton videos by a woman named Renee Lawson, and her YouTube handle is Renee Loves LUVS Designers. And I really enjoy her videos. Now, I think maybe she only filmed during the pandemic, maybe when we were home, because she hasn't uploaded any new content in a couple of years. But she is the one that kind of got me on to trying Chanel fragrances. And I have had a couple of people ask me if I would do a updated um, fragrance video of what is in my fragrance wardrobe. And so I do plan on doing that. 
However, I have noticed that my change in fragrance is evolving, I will say. Um, I've always gravitated towards florals, but here lately I'm wanting something with a little more depth, something that is multifaceted, a little more interesting. Um, and so I remembered Renee's videos and I went back and rewatched them and was like, I'm gonna give some of these, some of these classics, especially like the number five line a try. Um, but anyway, this is what I ordered um, a week or so ago was the, I, I went with the little bottle just because I usually do first go round, but as you can see, I've already worn a good bit of it. And like I said, oh, it smells so good, y'all. Um, and I went ahead and got the body lotion as well. But now I have the twist and spray so I can keep it in my purse because I do like to freshen myself up throughout the day. And so I just wanted it. So I ordered it. Um, Okay, so let me open it and then I will show you how it works. So this comes with, here's the front, I've already shown you. Here's the back. And when you open it, it's gonna have the instructions on how to refill it right here. It comes with one in it already and then there are two refills right here, okay? So, all you do is, oh yeah, this is a good size too. Here's it in my hand. And they have an even smaller size, maybe not in this one, but in the number five. Um, it's like the size of a lipstick, so it's even smaller. But you simply twist and then spray. And then from what I understand to close it, you twist it back down. But if you want to um, replace it, you just pull up and here is, you just pull it out and then put the new one in. And be careful when you put it down not to spray yourself in the face. <laughs> So I'm really excited for that one. I really am. I'm not gonna spray it on myself um, because there's something else I want to spray on me. But, okay, so let me get this box out of the way. It's gonna look like Christmas in here, y'all. I mean, Dillard's really did a nice job. They wrapped everything individually for me. I don't know if that's because it's Chanel. It's all Chanel or what, but I mean, they, they wrapped everything for me. Um, this is going to be the body wash, the Gabrielle body wash. It was out of stock on the Chanel website, which is why I went to um, Dillard's. I was beginning to think I wouldn't be able to find it anywhere. And I'm kind of like Renee when it comes to this sort of stuff. I really want the ancillary products. I want the whole line to be able to layer. I don't just want the perfume. I like my fragrance to last and to really be evident on my skin. So, ooh, that's really pretty. Here's the body wash. Look at it and all that wonderful, it's like a bottle of sunshine. Like a bottle of sunshine. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. And the lid, the um, cap is so pretty. It's like a matted champagne kind of color. It's really pretty. Okay, I think there's one more in here. And then we will move along to the Chanel delivery. Okay, again, this one's wrapped just like the others were. And this is the number five body lotion. And I think this was out of stock as well on the Chanel website. It was either the lotion in the number five or the body wash was out, out of stock. 
And again, this is just the plain number five. Oh, that's so pretty. Pastel pink. Here's these together. And I assume that this is just like the body wash and that you twist. Yep, you twist and it opens. Gosh, it smells so good. I did test this out at the counter at Dillard's, at my local Dillard's, and the dry down on the number five lotion had a very soapy quality to it, very clean, not heavy um, at all, like I thought. And in fact, let me just put a little on. very thin um, they don't they do offer it in a cream like a tub and I think it's even nicer it's like a glass jar um, that you can get you get less product and you pay like $30 more or so um, my skin just isn't that dry at this stage in the game to need a cream at some point I may have to go over to that but yes it's very nice like you can smell it <laughs> um, but yes it's very nice very light, not as heavy as the as the perfume. Okay, that is it from Dillard's. <clears throat> mm, smells so good. Okay, this is what I ordered straight from Chanel. <clears throat> So the box just kind of opened like a flower. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. It says Chanel. And upon checkout, I opened for the new packaging, um, which is a bag instead of the traditional box. And then here's my receipt. And this is my first time ordering from Chanel, so I really didn't know what to expect, but here, I assume, is the receipt. Yeah, in the pack slip. So I'll set that there. And here's the little dust bag. I thought this would be cute. I could find some use for this, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, they put little, um, little shredded paper in it to make it nice. And then I picked out a couple of samples. I picked out the body lotion of the number five. I thought maybe I could just keep this in my purse if at any point I need it. Um, and then I got a Coco Mademoiselle Lo Privé. I think, is this the one that you're supposed to put on like at nighttime before you go to bed? Maybe. I don't know. My mama wears Coco Mademoiselle, so I don't, I mean, I think it's a pretty fragrance, but I think of mama. I don't really think of something, it is something I would wear. I think of my mama, so I may just give her that. I got her a new bottle of Mademoiselle for Mother's Day. Um, okay, and then this is what I ordered from Chanel. I ordered the number five Eau Premier in the twist and spray. And I ordered the Eau Premier because I do not like the traditional number five Eau de Parfum. I do not like the Eau de Toilette. They are too heavy. They are too heady. Um, and quite frankly, in my opinion, as of right now, they just smell a little dated to me. Now that may change, and I, I really enjoy the body lotion, and I think I'll enjoy the body wash. I have smelled the Eau Premier on me and the number five Low. I really liked the Low, but it's an Eau de Toilette, and it only lasted like an hour on me. 
So I went back and I sprayed the Eau Premier and it's much heavier, but it's still not as heavy as the um, just regular number five. So that's where I'm at with it. So I went ahead and I ordered the twist and spray um, so that I could keep it in my purse on days that I wear it. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. I know that number five uh, has been around for a hundred years or a little over a hundred years. I know that there are women that wear nothing but number five. Um, Renee Lawson, the one that, woman that I was speaking about earlier, is an avid number five wearer. Um, she's a Chanel super fan anyway. Um, I think she freelances for the company, so she knows a lot about the brand. She knows a lot about um, Coco, Mademoiselle. And, you know, like I said, she's the one that, that sparked my intrigue on the on the fragrance line from Chanel. So here's the twist and spray. Oh, it's heavier, I think, than the Gabrielle. It feels heavier and it's metal. They're cold. Of course, I may be having a hot flash um, to the touch, but I believe that this is black lacquer. And again, you just twist and it pops up and I'll go ahead and spray it. Mm, it's so nice. Okay, so comparing the Eau Premier to the Low, the Eau Premier is a little heavier, a little more floral, um, not so much as the original number five. The low has more of a citrusy uh, zest to it. It's a little more, uh, it's lighter, obviously, because it's an eau de toilette. Um, and it has like, it almost has like a clean, fresh out of the shower quality to it, the low, not this one. But they still have that aldehyde core to them that the number five line has. Um, this is just a moder more modern, fresher take on the number five, and then the low is an even more fresher take on the five. So I do feel like there would be a number five for everyone out there. I would not have worn any of the number fives even 10 years ago. And like I previously said, in another 10 years, I may be ready for the OG number five. Just not yet, I'm not there yet. But I know that I'm going to enjoy these. These fragrances are classy. Um, they are timeless, they are seasonless. Both of these are timeless and seasonless. A lot of my fragrances are put into a season. I have spring and summer fragrances and then I have fall and winter fragrances. And these two are fragrances that I will wear all year round. So that's something else that I'm excited about. And yeah. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I do plan on filming a um, video of my current uh, perfume collection, what I have, and I will go through that. There's a lot. And other than these, I've pretty much written off any new fragrance, trying new fragrances. A lot of what I wear now is stuff that I've worn in the last 10, 15 years. And a lot of them aren't even made anymore. I just buy them off Mercari. So one problem that I've run into a lot with fragrance is it smells great in the bottle, but then when it's on me, the dry down is totally different from the way it smells out of the bottle. So that's a lot of why I wanted to try these before buying them. And then um, also I'm just done for the most part with them. So anyways, but yes, I do plan on getting that video out there at some point in the near future. I hope that everyone out there is doing well. And if you have any questions about any of these products, as always, leave them in the comments below. I apologize for looking like a wet dog. <laughs> and I will see you next time in Ashley's Closet. Bye, y'all.